gunfire, drug dealing, vandalism. Residents in Denver's East Colfax neighborhood say they have had enough and they now want the city to step up to the plate to help keep them safe. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez had a neighborhood meeting today and Lance, they talked about ways they could improve safety there. Shannon, it's not just this neighborhood seeing a bump in crime. Statistics show that murder and assault up dramatically citywide, but it's neighborhoods, low-income neighborhoods like East Colfax with its large transient population that are particularly vulnerable. Violent crime has increased significantly in the East Colfax neighborhood. Two weeks ago, there were three cars that were going down the street and they um, were shooting at each other. One bullet smashed the glass on the back of this SUV. Another pierced the lift gate. Still another hit a window at Hiddenbrook Apartments. There was a mother and two kids in that apartment and luckily, thankfully, nobody was hurt, but people are traumatized. It's got the point where the kids are even scared to, they even scared to take the trash out anymore. Uh, we have the CEO of Hope Communities hosted this community gathering to address the crime. District 2 Police Commander Kathleen Bancroft was there. I hear, I hear the frustration. I hear the fear. Bancroft says the pandemic caused some frustration, which led to a bump in crime, but it also changed the dynamics of motel businesses nearby. Now, instead of families seeking low rent, the clientele more into illicit activity. What's being done? Councilman Amanda Sawyer says the city and Excel have committed to installing higher intensity lights in the neighborhood. Hope Communities will install $10,000 worth of security cameras in and around its apartment building and will strengthen the gate in the back alley. Commander Bancroft says it's time to rebuild the partnership that worked years ago. I can't do it by myself because I have literally 12 officers to shift. So a little bit more during, during the nighttime hours, but I can't do this by myself. I have to have a community partnership. She wants residents to speak up and say this is their neighborhood and to tell police what needs to be done and then work with them to get it done. Now, Commander Bancroft was asked where the young people are getting the guns. She said they're often breaking into people's cars, their homes, even gun shops. She said so far this year, Denver police have confiscated more than 110 guns. That's a significantly more uh, number of guns than last year for the same time period. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.